For longer than I care to admit, I've been wanting to step up my game when it comes to this arsenal of catfishing reels. And I finally did it. I plopped down some cash on these, the Luz SC600. We're gonna break them out of the box. I'll give you my initial impressions. We'll talk a little bit about how I plan to punish them and put them through the paces and let you guys know whether or not I think they might be worth your hard earned money. It starts right now. This production is being brought to you by Battery Outfitters with locations all over the Mid-South. They are your neighborhood battery store. All right, for those of you who might be new to this channel, my name is Quentin and you're watching Mid-South Outdoor Life. On this channel, I like to focus on content all about living an active and outdoor lifestyle. And to me, that generally just means getting out and doing some fishing. Most of the time, I'm looking for giant catfish on the Mississippi River but I've been known to do some videos in creeks and streams looking for, for bass and channel cats and skipjack and anything that will bite. So if that sounds like something that interests you, make sure to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload. But today, the focus is on this, my new Luz SC600s. Let me begin by saying that Luz did not send me these. I owe them nothing. I plopped down my hard earned money on them. So rest assured, I'm gonna tell you every dirty little thing about them, but so far the list is short. They're replacing these. If you've been tuned into the channel for a while, you've been seeing me beat the crap out of these for the last three or four years. I'm hard on them. I use huge sinkers, especially in the winter when I'm suspending massive weights and massive baits in deep water. Um, it's taken their toll on them. I've had some failures with them, but not too many. Uh, the drag on these sucks. Uh, they come out of the box feeling really, really smooth in, ter in terms of the gears, but within a couple of months, you can almost picture that gray-haired Chinaman with an old-school hammer and chisel working away on a piece of stone to make the gears that must be inside these. It's kind of how they feel after they get some miles. But overall, they've served me well for the 50 bucks that you pay for them. These, however, are in fact about twice the cost of those. I think on average, you probably pay about $100 for this reel. Um, I didn't have to look around a whole lot to find a really good deal on them, enough that I, you know, went all out and got enough for six rods. Um, but I tell you what, I expect at least twice the value out of them if I'm going to spend twice as much on them. Will we get it? I don't know. I find it interesting that I can't find any good information at the time of the filming of this video on this reel. Luz hasn't really marketed this reel. There's one video from Luz on this reel out there that I could find. And it really didn't tell me anything. What drew me in was the thumb bar. Some of you guys, my viewers, have actually recommended this reel in the past, and I overlooked it because the only re lose reels that I saw had the little, the little push button on the side to release the spool, and I hate those things. I'm also not a fan of the levers over here. I like a thumb bar. So when I stumbled across this just by accident and saw that it had the thumb bar, and then I remembered that some of you had re recommended it, I looked into it thorough. I you know, the little specs that I did find, the gear ratio, the capacity, the weight, uh, they all did it for me. Uh, I ordered them. And right now, I'll tell you this, it's ridiculously smooth out of the package. Um, it's evident that it's, I, I would assume, nearly all metal internals because everything feels ridiculously crisp. Everything sounds crisp and sharp, if that makes any kind of sense at all. Just trying to relay to you guys what's in my mind and and try to give you guys the things that you can't see when you're just looking at them online uh, from the thumb bar spool release to the to the clicker in the drag everything feels crisp sharp and precise uh, I have done some drag testing at various different uh, amounts of weight I generally don't set my drag higher than about six to eight pounds which might not sound like a whole lot to you guys, but I have a video on that. Uh, it's an understanding drag, I think is the title of it. You might want to look it up. I, you'd be surprised what six to eight pounds will do to even a heavy action rod. I recommend that you check that out. It's here in the library. But yeah, I've done some casting with uh, some of these that I've already spooled up. Everything so far has checked out quite well initially. I'm gonna beat them up this weekend and we'll know more. Here's the one complaint that I do have right now, and it's kind of a big one. I'm kind of I'm kind of ticky over it. I don't know what kind of thin-fingered Fruit Loop Cruncher picked out the knobs on this thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm again. Maybe I'm just being too critical. But 
the the diameter of these round knobs is ridiculous. I find it quite uncomfortable, quite awkward. Maybe it won't be that way out on the water. I would prefer something larger or maybe a paddle style. Luz does offer some, you know, some some upgrade knobs that you can put on the reels. Obviously, I haven't went that route yet, but yeah, I'm not a fan of these. That's my only gripe though this far, and. That's a personal preference thing. What really matters, matters is the mechanics and the functionality of the reel. And we're going to find that out really soon. You guys tune in for some of the upcoming videos. You're going to see me thrashing these things. Hopefully landing some monster fish for you guys. I hope this helped you. Uh, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think of these reels if you've already used them. Or if you have other suggestions on reels that you'd like to see me review. Put it down in the comments and I'll try to get to it. Thanks for watching.